my name is Lily. Let me share the latest Secure Transport features and improvements with you. This month, we updated several third party components that were reported in the National Vulnerability Database, including PostgreSQL, Jetty, and Commons Compress. Refer to our third party software and licenses document for the complete list. With this update, we've adjusted the default LDAP server communication settings to better meet your needs and improve security. Now, the default protocol version is set to LDAP 3, and Start TLS is enabled by default on fresh installations of Secure Transport. These changes do not affect updated instances. Zero Downtime Update is a process to upgrade an active enterprise cluster to a later version of Secure Transport without interruptions in file transfers, scheduling, and event logging. The solution is currently in beta and must not be applied in production environments. It utilizes scripts and services that are made available with this update, along with step-by-step -step instructions and reference architecture details. To test the new functionality, you also need a dummy update package, which can be provided by your AXWI representative upon request. The diagram on the screen here shows a simplified reference architecture, where the existing environment, running the old Secure Transport version, is labeled as blue. For example purposes, we use the following enterprise cluster setup. We have three backend servers and three edges. And we also have a shared database and a shared file system. While the cluster formed from the updated blue instances is referred to as green. You can see our administrator guide for detailed information and execution steps. We're happy to announce that this update adds support for the following platforms. Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9, Windows Server 2022, and Azure NetApp Files over NFS version 3. The authentication process for end users on both Linux and Windows has been optimized to make logon faster. We have implemented user metadata caching, which significantly speeds up various operations such as listing, uploading, and downloading, particularly noticeable in Linux environments. This update also adds new server log messages at info level, indicating the start and end of the usage report calculation and generation, both manual and automatic. On the screen here, you can see the message that was logged once the daily calculation completed successfully. Master administrators now have access to a redesigned version of the Route Package Templates page. This new version is currently in beta and operates in read-only mode, enabling administrators to inspect Route Package Templates alongside their respective routes and steps. Templates can still be created and edited in the old interface. Based on the received customer feedback, we have revised the list of quick links on the landing page of the administration tool. We have streamlined the selection, reducing clutter and reordering to highlight the most recent secure transport functionalities. This refinement aims to enhance user focus and navigation efficiency. Thank you for watching this month's video. Apply this update using the links in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.